This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case Now, now I done did my little conspiracy talk Now I'm finna get into some serious shit So somebody uh, uh, emailed me and they asked me to tell them about What to say? And some aloe into your juice. Okay. I throw that. Now, somebody emailed me and they told me. They asked me to just share. A quick share with you guys about how I got into meditation. How I meditate and my outlook on the practice. I don't think I need to do a whole video and upload it to YouTube. I think I can do it right here. And those who are supposed to hear it will hear it. All right. So here it goes. So it's going to be about 14, 15 years ago, I started meditating. Yeah, around by that time, 14, 15 years ago, I started meditating. But I was just bullshitting. I was just practicing, pretending. You know, I meditate 20 minutes of silence and and I was at the same time I was meditating I was manifesting which is wrong people two different things these are two different cycles that we are supposed to do in our lives you meditate first then you go into your manifesting and I see a lot of people on on the internet and YouTube they doing it oh as you meditate you manifest no you got to clean some shit out first and then when the when the vessel is empty and no more then you ask the universe, spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, to fill it back up. That's stage one. So y'all remember that. That's a that's a jewel. So I get 15 years ago I started meditating. I was just playing around, oh, bring me money, clothes and holes. You know, I was pretty cool at it. It worked. The, the universe gave me what I want. So, but when I really got into meditating, it was 2012. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Mom passed away 2012. It was 2012. I really got into meditating. And for the first year, every time I tried to truly meditate and guided meditation, it didn't matter. The images that popped in my mind was so sickening and so disgusting to me that i was like damn i can't believe i could i'm capable of thinking about certain shit in my mind there was and and trust me i i don't i'm just gonna fucking say it it is what it is in my mind every time i would meditate i would be in a town with nothing but chaos there would be gunshots people getting their heads blowed off black white all races and colors it would be people cannibalizing each other i mean it would be people taking advantage of women and men you know you know sexually and and i'm meditating and i had to sit through this shit for 30 minutes a day come out of that trance feeling like shit and this is for a year to two years to the point where I say I don't want to do this and I was getting taught how to meditate properly and that's proper meditation people and so and I remember this like it was yesterday man and this is when I finally just when I finally broke through the veil and that's what I when once you meditate and get all the darkness out your soul and accept it that you can be dark it's fuck I got all of the I got all oh, I, I saw the uh, I know when I transition he go now I remember it like it was yesterday so as I'm having for two years now for two and a half one and a half year close to two years coming up on the two-year mark I broke this I broke through the plane so again I'm seeing all this I'm seeing this vi I'm in this village this town this city is nothing but carnage cannibalism rapes uh, well I can't say that word R.A.P.s, all that stuff right 
and as I'm seeing it going around, the person who I was talking to, like on the guided meditation, that he said one thing. He said, "Now where are you in all of this chaos?" I'm finna, I'm finna help you guys out with your meditation for those who think you guys are doing it correctly. After two, I mean, he had been walking me through this for like a close to two years, and he said he let me experience all that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna equate that to shadow work. By the way, he uh, and he say, so where are you at in all of this chaos? He said you done got to see. He said you see everything. You know every building. You know every motorcycle you seen. You know everybody you hurt. Everybody you that you you see hurt getting hurt around you. He said, "Where are you in this?" And I said, "Where am I?" I say, "I'm watching this shit." You know, because I was every time I meditated like that, I got pissed off. I was angry. I wasn't all Zen law enlightened. I was angry, destructive. You know. So after he asked me that question, now where are you? Where are you? And he said, "Walk with me here." The motherfucker appeared in my meditation. It's my meditation, but his ass appeared there. Power. It's power in these streets. So he says, and as he appeared in front of me, he grabbed my hand. Because I'm watching this shit through like a TV, y'all. He grabbed my hand and he pulled me down. And he said, now where are you? As he pulled me down, I turned into the people that was doing all of the nefarious shit in the meditation visions i was the one biting off people's faces i was the one shooting up everybody i was the one committing atrocity acts against men and women not a homosexual bone in my body but why would something like that come to my head y'all i saw that i was the one doing that it broke my brain it broke me and i said I could never hurt nobody like that. I could never do a woman like that. I don't need, I don't think I can eat somebody. I say, man, I just ran over a dude in his motorcycle. You know, I done shoved the dude's head in a meat grinder. Why am I seeing this nasty, negative, toxic shit and I'm supposed to be trying to enlighten myself? These are the questions I had. So the next day, and I, I get, I'm getting sensitive about this because when you have that breakthrough, it it, it 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 touches you different than anything else. So we go back again and we do it again. This time he's not on the phone. He said, "You don't need my help no more." Zen La, he's out of here. Kind of, he was kind of androgynous. I didn't know if he was a dude or a girl, but he was like a a, a Buddhist man, but Indian. Uh, the Indians from India. So weird, but energy was harmonizing. So I go again. And this time when I went to meditating, now imagine seeing this shit for two, a year and a half, two years. So it done took an effect on here. So now I'm angry at the people. I don't want a girlfriend. So for, cause for four years, I did not date. I did not have a girlfriend. I did not screw or nothing. Four years. And I'm like, and I didn't even know the four years had passed that I didn't even want to have companionship. Just me and my kids in the house. I grew my face out, grew my afro out. It was like, just like the people go on the spiritual retreats and give up on, on the vanity shit of the world for four years as I was going through all that, learning how to meditate. That's what I did. So, I remember this well when I broke the veil. When I broke through the veil and became more than just this body and this these mental images and all of this bs anger that in this sin that is ingrained in us through thought this fear and chaos that's ingrained in our in our skin and our sin and in our minds i i sat down and i got in my stance and i'm meditating and i'm saying the little prayers and everything and i come through Boom, here it is, the same fucking town, the same chaos, 
I knew it well. The, the biker guy with the leather jacket with his head blowed off, and he gets up and run. I shoot him in the head, pow. He get up and he go run around. He ain't dead. He ain't dying from a headshot. You know, get on a motorcycle. I run him up. Keep in mind, I turned out I was the guy doing all this chaos. So same town, chaos ensued. It start from the same goddamn point. Now that I know it's me here doing all this, I stop moving. And when I stop attacking people, and when I stop being nasty to people, and when I stop doing all these atrocities that I saw, that I was seeing, everybody else stopped. Everybody else stopped. It's, it was like a movie or like somebody, like actors. So when I stopped doing it, everybody else stopped and they're looking at each other and mid pose and stuff and and knives and shit. They all looking at each other mid pose, waiting on my energy to make them react. But I didn't because I had got sick and I had got I had did I had went inside and saw the nastiness that was inside of me. So I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to face that side. And some say turn around. So I turned around. Expecting to see more. Of the lighter side of things. Would you believe. When I turned around. I saw a purple mist. It was the, the richest. Most beautifulest. Purplish blackish. Slights of pink and white. Cosmo. Mist. And the smell was atrocious. I had all my senses, and them bitches was hyped up to a billion. And I, I it, it was called like a my. I think in anime they call it a miasma. A miasma. Google that word. Uh, a miasma. And the miasma was so thick it closed my throat, and something beckoned me to walk through it. And I'm man, I'm gonna get this motherfucking smell on my nice shoes. And uh, keep in mind, I stop myself. I'm materialistic still. I don't have the carnage in me no more, but I still have a materialistic. There's one part of me I haven't gotten rid of. I still have an attachment to my fly shoes. I still have an attachment to my fly watch. You know, this is it. And I had all of this stuff on that astro meditative plane. So I said, I got to go through it. I got to go through it. So I walk through this shadow of a smoke, nasty, cosmos, mucky bullshit. And I walked through it. And the smell was there. And it was a struggle. And I just heard somebody cheering me on like a voice out of nowhere. You can do it. Break the plane. You can do it. Break the plane. You can do it. The veil is weak. You can do it. The veil is weak. You can do it. The veil is weak. This is 2012, by the way, people. The veil is weak fell this week so I pushed through it and when I came out on the other side I didn't see no peace I didn't see no light I didn't see no motherfucking Buddhist type energy Zen law the tree of life none of that shit when I broke through it I saw water I saw crystal clear water as far as the eye can see and I bathed in that water I dived in that water because I knew I was stinking. I knew I was shit. I knew I had the smell of all that chaos and carnage. I dipped my ass in that water. Splashed around. Came up squeaky and clean. And when I came up, I had no hair. Nothing. Smooth as a baby's ass. I had no hair. I had no clothes. I had nothing on. Stark, bookie, naked. And when I came up, that's when everything became pure and clear in senses. Now, two years after that experience, I'm still not dating, still not screwing. Nigga powerful, I mean, I can hold orbs in my hand. I used to call it feeling the heartbeat of the universe. That's that's my name I had for it. And I never, and I know in my life, I never experienced that feeling again. But it just came and I was making orbs. I was 
turning off dryers in the house. I was abusing the energy that I had tapped into. I'm like, man, I want some cold water. It'll be a glass of water right there. This shit is real. Those stuff you see on the internet where people can make fire out of their hand and freeze ice like that shit and make the bowl rumble. I used to be, man, I want some cold water. I get a glass and touch it. And five seconds later, the water is chilled. It's cold. And I'm drinking ice cold water. And I'm bragging, me and my kids. I'm, well, you know, your daddy a magician. Vanity seat back in. Once I realized I had these abilities, vanity seat back in. Now it's a whole different meditation I got to go through in order to get rid of this vanity of the enlightened. So it took me two years to master my nature. That's what being a man is about, master above nature. It took me two years to learn how to master that. Two years to get over all the darkness inside my soul, chaos and strife. Another two years of getting over abuse of power, mystical spiritual power. Now you got over abusing that shit. Now you can sit up there and you can, now you can show, show people what you're working with because you're using it for the greater good. And I got that teaching from the universe himself, herself, itself, whatever. After I went through that, the universe opened up to me so much. I was seeing molecules. The, the steering wheel didn't look like a steering wheel. It was a molecule. I knew the number coding of the molecule. I, can, I don't think I can ever get to that enlightened point again because I've gotten so materialistic over time. We all have. It's survival method for us right now. Man, but I remember that. That was the best fucking feeling i ever been. I smelt good. I was healthy. Skin was tight. Everything was right. But I had to go without sex for four years. I ain't even gonna front on that shit. Uh, I didn't, it wasn't no self pleasure. It wasn't calling a, a booth thing on the side or none of that shit. No friends with benefits, none of that shit. It was strictly nothing for four years. I had no desire to be a part of this world. I had no desire. Now, some now for the, for the, the, the person who wrote into my email and asked me to explain that, that was for you. So take it how you take it. Take the gems and pieces of it that you need to take the gems and pieces of it. But that's how I began to meditate. That's that was my first experience. So for everybody who want to learn how to meditate and I'm going to explain that way it was taught to me and it's been working out good for me. As you meditate during the time of your meditation you should not be manifesting these are two different principles your meditation is to clean your soul to reconnect you with universe and spirit source your call don't come for me you have to clean the system before you can sit up there and ask for anything That's how you do your meditation and this is how you do your manifesting. Clean out the bullshit. People say, well, when I come home throughout the day, I like to take 15 minutes and meditate. No, when you come home from a hard day's work, people bitching at you, fucking with you, all that shit there. First thing you do, you sit your ass down and you quiet yourself and you go trying to manifest a better day, a better tomorrow, a better situation. And you wonder why it takes so long and it never works. It's because you haven't taken the time to clean your system out. So when I used to have a bad day, even right before I quit my job, I used to, man, that son of a bitch pissed me off and I'm mad. Okay, ego, anger, all that shit. Deep, okay, great spirit. Remove this hatred, remove this negativity 
get this narcissistic viewpoints out of my soul, out of my energy, out of my space. That's my meditation. Once that's gone, enlighten me. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear this. Then, spirit, I would like a raise on my job. Spirit, I would like to have a better connection with my mate. Spirit, I would like my kids to be safe. I would like my son to be protected while he's in the military. Now, spirit can say, well, you got rid of the bullshit. And this vessel is empty. And it definitely, we want you to be full and happy. So I got to fill you back up. So we got rid of the bullshit desires of revenge and anger and chaos. So now let me pour in life into you. So when you do that and you get rid of that, you expel all the nastiness. Now you can dip yourself in that fresh, clean water, come up clean. And somebody going to offer you a robe. Somebody going to offer you something to put over your body. And that which gets offered to put over your body is spirit confirming that you are manifesting. Because when you come out of water and you start naked, you want to cover yourself. And that's how it was explained to me. Now, I don't know if I made sense to you guys. I don't know if I took you on a journey. The way y'all say this dude is out of his fucking rocker. It don't work like that. It worked like that for me. It worked like that for me.